Let us understand different addressing modes of 8051. Now in 8051, lot of assembly language instructions are available. And to categorize all these uh, assembly language instructions into different categories, these addressing modes are used. Now addressing mode is a way by which addresses are specified in the instruction. So according to the addresses specified in the instruction, all assembly language instructions are divided into different categories. And these categories are addressing modes. So in 8051, there are five addressing modes. So we'll discuss one by one these addressing modes. So first addressing mode is immediate addressing mode. Now using example of MU instruction, the mnemonic is MOV. First we will discuss addressing modes, all addressing modes which are used for internal RAM. So as we know internal RAM memory is of 128 bytes which starts from 00H and ends at 7FH. So this immediate addressing mode which is discussed now is for internal RAM memory. So MU instruction format, general format of MU instruction is MOV that is a mnemonic of instruction destination comma source. So this MU instruction moves the contents of source location to destination location. So it is like copy and paste. So source data will not change but data of source will be just moved to destination. In immediate addressing mode source is immediate number. That is we can call it as a data. So source is data and this destination can be registered. For example, suppose I write just standard format of this can be written as mu destination comma hash and immediate number. That is data. So this hash sign should be written before this data or a number. It indicates that it is a data. It is not an address of memory location, but it is a data. So hash sign is used in immediate addressing mode. For example, I can write instruction mu a comma hash 24h. So 24h I want to store in accumulator. So I have written instruction MOV MU 24H that is destination into accumulator. So after execution of this instruction in accumulator you will get value 24H. The same can be used for register MU R0 comma hash 52H. So what this instruction will do or after execution of this instruction 52H will be stored in register R0. So R0 register will be loaded with value 52H. This immediate addressing mode instruction can be used for any register from R0 to R7 of register band. So whenever we can use R0 to R7 register, I will write RR. 
so r r indicates we can use resistor from r0 to r7 for resistor r0 and r1 we'll use a letter as rp so rp indicates only resistor r0 and r1 so for the standardization of this instruction we can write mu r r comma hash any number immediate number so in any resistor from r0 to r7 we can store this data for example we can move a data in resistor r7 28h i want to store in r7 we can write this instruction now here condition is that size of size of source and destination must be same for all instruction this condition is true size of source and destination must be same that means if destination is of 8 bit then size of source should be only of 8 bit if destination is of 16 bit then size of source will be 16 bit now we can use this immediate addressing mode instruction to store data in dptr resistor so dptr is 16 bit resistor so we can store 16 bit of data so hex data in 16 bit can be stored in dptr resistor as we know dptr is divided into two resistors dpl and dph so lower 8 bit of this data that is 15h will be stored in dpl resistor 24h will be stored in dph resistor so we can individually read this contents of resistor or we can read the contents of 16 bit dptr resistor where 2415h will be stored so we can use this instruction to store immediate number in any of the resistors now here for resistor the name of resistor we are writing here but resistor bank will be decided by rs0 and rs1 resistor of resist bits of psw resistor so microcontroller will verify this bits of psw resistor by default these are 0 0 so bank 0 is selected so generally we use by default value and we use a resistor from bank 0 now if this data starts from character for example suppose i want to store a value a5h a5h is data and this data i want to store in resistor r1 so if data starts from character then you have to write this data starting with zero so whenever this data start from character write like this zero a 5 h so microcontroller will understand this is a data not a instruction or not any other variable value so this we have to remember whenever this data start from character insert here zero at the starting of character so this is resist uh, immediate addressing mode the second addressing mode is resistor addressing mode now we are discussing this addressing mode for internal ram memory in resistor addressing mode as an example we'll consider mu instruction and we know that the format of mu is mov destination comma source in resistor addressing mode both destination and source should be registers and you can use destination and source as register a and register r0 to r7 of any register bank that means we can write register a 
and register RR. RR means R0 to R7. So in this case, both source and destination are registered. So as an example, we can write instruction as move A comma R0. So this instruction after execution contents of R0 will be moved into accumulator or contents of R0 will be stored in accumulator. Contents of R0 will remain as it is. For example, before execution of instruction, suppose in accumulator 25H is stored and in register R0 46H is stored. Then after execution of this instruction in accumulator you will get 46H because data of R0 is stored in accumulator and the data of R0 remains as it is that is 46H. The next example is you can use R0 as a destination and accumulator as a source. So in this case accumulator contents will be stored in register R0. So here suppose before execution of instruction data is accumulator is equal to 25 R0 is 46H then after execution of this instruction you will get in R0 25H this data will be stored in R0 and R0 uh, accumulator data will remain as it is 25H. So you can use any register here you can use R7 comma accumulator. So this data transfer should be between accumulator and any of this register that means one of the operand these are called as operand so one of the operand must be accumulator so this is register addressing mode which is used to move data from one register to other register third addressing mode is direct addressing mode again it is for internal ram so it is for used for internal ram 00 H to 7FH and again for SFRs. So in direct addressing mode we are considering example of move instruction and this is destination comma source. So in this destination and source can be used as a address location. or destination can be used as a address location or source is used as a address location so it will be clear while using this instructions the, suppose i write instruction move a comma address address of internal ram or sfr so for example i'll write here instruction move a comma ath since i am not using here hash sign this indicates the address of memory it is not a data if hash is written then it is data so this is differentiation between address and image data so in this case ath is address and ath is address of port 0 so what this instruction will do the contents of port 0 will be stored in accumulator so contents of port 0 will be stored or moved into accumulator so this is first type of this addressing mode instruction this uh, source can be a address location you can use destination as an address location for example move address comma a so here i'll use same in instruction destination is ath that means port 0 and source is accumulator so contents of accumulator will be stored in at port 
or accumulator contents will be placed on port 0. So here destination is address location. In third case you can use both destination and source as an address. So I am using here address 1 and this source as address 2. For example, I will write instruction as move ATH, comma 77H. 77H is the address of register IE. So what this instruction will do? It will move contents of interrupt enable register IE into port 0 register. So both source and destination can be used as a address location. The next type of instruction is move address and you can use here immediate number. So destination is address and immediate number is source. Immediate number cannot be never used as a destination. So as an example, suppose I want to move or send some data 1 to H. This number I want to send at port 0. So I can write instruction like this move 80 H comma hash 12 H. So 12 H will be placed on port 0 because 80 H is the address of port 0. So these are FSR addresses. So this is how we can use this direct addressing mode instructions.